What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Um, I just want to do a quick video before the end of the growing season here on these uh, watermelons. I've done a couple as, as we've gone here uh, creating this trellis and then uh, a couple times throughout the season. So I wanted to show you these slings that I made before I harvested this one. Um, as you can see I just used some of my wife's um, pantyhose, some old pantyhose and uh, just created kind of a a vertical support here that it's the weight is being borne by the the trellis itself and then I just used this is an old soccer jersey I just or you could have used you know any material but it didn't need to be as stretchy so I uh, just kind of lashed it so it wouldn't fall apart um, anyway it's pretty sturdy and it holds a good amount of weight now this one in particular you may not think this is very big and it's not it's only about you know size of a very small soccer ball but um, you can tell when a watermelon is done by looking at the stalk. And I, I actually chopped this, um, you know, the vine doesn't continue past this fruit because I, I did that on purpose. But if it did, you can look just past the watermelon at these little tendrils that stick out. And if they're brown and dead like that, that just kind of came off real easy. But these things like this, if these are dead, then that means your watermelon is done. That's what I've, that's what I've heard. This is only the first or se actually the second time I've grown watermelons. So I'm not an expert at this, but that's what I've read and that's what I've heard. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this guy. But I just wanted to show you kind of the, uh, we'll get a side view instead of just a top down. But as you can see, that little sling did its job and uh, it, it's, it's great because it'll, it'll expand along with the watermelon as it grows. Now I didn't need one. These other ones over here died that I showed you early in earlier videos. I'm not sure why, but uh, these were close enough to the ground that they, they were able to just kind of settle to the bottom. And uh, they're not quite ready yet. They're getting close. This one's getting close, but this one's not ready yet. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it for the season on these. I think it was a success. I don't know that it gained me a ton other than just saving me a little bit of square footage, but uh, anyway, it was a fun little project and it did work, so you can grow watermelons vertically. Thanks for watching, guys.